And uh, we'll hold hands when we pray around the dinner table. Even when we have guests, they would sing um, songs about being thankful for the food on the table and um, just silly songs that they would sing. They sing as a family. They still do it now sometimes. When I grew up, I was I was really homophobic. I, I had a gay aunt and a gay uncle, and I didn't even want to talk to them. I didn't want to know about it. I remember my dad telling me that they were getting married, and I was thinking, well, maybe I should go and, like, pick at their, their wedding and, and hold up a sign saying, you know, this is wrong, and with, like, a Bible verse on it, because I thought it was so wrong. I didn't even like it when they came around. I just thought it was disgusting and made me so uncomfortable. My my mum wrote in my, my baby book, like, I, I went to church when I was two days old. So, you know, it was always something that was just, that was there. I think my idea of Christianity then was very different from how it is now. I was, I was brought up with a very clean cut, kind of almost innocent, naive view of everything. And that's not realistic um, in any way, where you think that you have to be perfect and you kind of get brought up with the idea that perfection is achievable and it's not. And... Um, that can only really lead to, to you feeling guilty and not good enough about things. And I don't know one Christian who will say that they pray enough or that they give enough or that they care enough or, or anything because you're always led to believe that, that you can do more. And I think that can kind of undermine your contentment in a lot of ways because you won't be happy with yourself if you think that you can do more. I've been praying for so long to be healed from being gay. Um you know, I just wanted to get rid of it and people at church would pray for me to to not be gay anymore and um yeah, suffering from same sex attraction. Suffering, like it like you're suffering from it, like it was a problem, you know, it's horrible and I just thought that there, there can't be a God if I feel like this. I just felt so black and I I was the most scared I've ever been and I was scared of what was in my own head because I just didn't want to live anymore. I think all the people who are out there with picket signs telling people that God hates fags, I think, how, how could you start a statement? How could you start a foundation with the words God hates when the whole point of the Bible is that God loves? I now identify myself as gay or lesbian. That is who, that is who I am. And I can't change it. I can't change it. I never wanted it for myself. And it's just... The way it is and I didn't choose it it's not a choice that I've made so God has made me that way or whether it's a result of the fall or whatever I don't really know but this is the way things are and I think that with me and Fee's relationship there's nothing in it that I think is sinful or like is really bad and wrong and I think God looking at it is not going to look at us and think and think that way he sees a good relationship and it, we're both Christian we both love him we both serve him and that's probably a lot more than other people could say you know I, and I really just do not think that God is judging us I think he's got far more important things that he cares about and I just think that it's, bl it's been blown into this massive issue in the church and it really really doesn't need to be I feel like it's become so it's become this thing that's so much bigger than it actually is I think God's probably just saying what about people that are starving on the streets kind of thing? Like, there's so many more things that we should be getting so in, enraged and passionate about, not this one issue.